All right, what's going on, guys? I'm at the phase off. We're gonna look around and see kind of what's going on here in a little bit, but I wanted to do a little bit of a different video. I'm about to go meet with the CEO of Faceland, Lee Trick. I hit him up yesterday. I was like, yo, are you free to meet tomorrow? At around 2.30, I wanna come in and talk to you about some things, like, like a serious conversation. He said yes, he's down to meet me. It works out perfect. I'm gonna go meet with him right now and try to sit down with him and convince him into letting me become the CEO of Faceland for a day. So I think it would be fun. And like, you know, we have access to a lot of resources, a lot of cool things. So let's go see. So I pretty much want to come in and talk to you about, uh, so you know how I've been on sort of one side of phase for the past eight years almost now, and of just you know, kind of creating content, working on videos, like working with the talent. Kind of, I feel like I've graduated from that. I want to work on more so the business side of, uh, of phase, you know? you know, help out corporately and like be in the offices, making decisions, working with these brands, talking to the different departments, kind of like, you know, what you're doing, pretty much exactly like what you're doing. And um, I wanted to see what you thought about, you know, maybe just letting me kind of take your role for, for the day. Um, I mean, look, to be honest, like I, I think bringing your energy in would be cool. And uh, listen, honestly, I'm a little burnt out. I could use a little break. We if we're just talking about a short time, like. Yeah, just the rest of the day. Like I'll just come in the rest of the day, make sure everything is smooth. I mean, we got a big staff meeting, so you got you, you'd have to just take care of that stuff. You've got to just, you know, you got to keep in mind, we got a lot of employees, we got about 100 yeah. employees, we got a lot of talent, like 90 talent, you got to just, Keep all those, keep that in mind, number one. You gotta promise me no kind of, you know, like, long-term decisions. Like, yeah, 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 yeah just of course. Just keep of it course. cool, keep it. Yeah, I'm just, I, mean, I, I just kinda wanna get a feel for, you know, what you do. I'm not really gonna make any, not, uh, certainly not like permanent long-term decisions, yeah, you know, just sure. kinda like, kinda like get, get, you get a feeling of what it's like to be in the office on the corporate side and like what it is to be the CEO of Faith, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I, I could, I could go with that. Yeah. So should we like get some paperwork going? How do, how do you wanna, uh, how can we do this? Yeah, I mean, I can have, you know, I can have somebody draw something up real quick or kind of just write something up, you and me real quick. Yeah, like it doesn't, it doesn't mean it need, need, need you know? to be too official. Like we don't need to get lawyers involved or anything. No yeah, need to I mean, you know, I, I could just give you a, you know, you know, you can sign there. Oh, there we go. That's it. It's All official. Right, it's Let's official. Go. Listen. I'm packing it up. Enjoy your day off. I appreciate you. I promise I'm going to make you proud, like you said. No long term decisions. Just going to, you know, kind of touch up on some things, make sure everything's smooth. Okay. You enjoy your day off. Right. Have fun. All right, listen. The first order of business now that I got in some business formal attire is uh, I'm probably gonna have to meet with the talent department, talk to them because I need to get to the bag, right? I need to get to the money. I need to just improve funds, where they're going, kind of figure out everything on that. I'm gonna hit the assistant, have her organize this uh, meeting and let's get it. All right, I gotta stop the video to give a thank you to the sponsor of this video, Current. I'm actually out on Melrose right now, doing some shopping, and I just got some food. I'm doing something cool. Listen, I'm giving away five thousand dollars, all right, to ten people who sign up with my link. It's right in the description, the first two lines. You guys will find the link. Download Current, and I'm depositing five hundred dollars into ten people's account. Just use code Adapt. So make sure you click the link in the description and use my code for a chance to win. If you guys don't know what Current is, it's an online banking system. It keeps it simple, authentic. There's no hidden fee, no hidden anything. So like. I said thank you to current one more time click the link in the description for your chance to win the five thousand dollar giveaway use coded app back to the video everyone really is here it's amazing and we got Nikhil on the laptop or something Nikhil what's up brother how you doing um good good so uh, thing I really wanted to do is meet with the talent department and let you guys know the way you guys are doing it is not it anymore we're changing it up like just for example like you know how Brands will come to you guys with a, like an offer and be like, here, this is what FaZe gets. And you split it with your roster, your individual. No no more, we're not doing that anymore. It's coming, it's coming right to me. It's coming, getting put. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Wait, what do you mean it's coming right to you? All of it's coming to you? Here, I'll explain it to you. Someone passed. Yeah, you're kind of far, yeah, so it's, pro it's probably a little bit this. harder for you to hear. Anybody else want to say anything? Any objections? Okay, so listen, next order of business. FaZe Clan gets offered, you know, a lot of cool opportunities to work with different brands and artists and go to these cool places and, you know, just get involved with these cool things. I need those also ran by me first so I can kind of approve it and make sure it's the best fit. 
So I know you guys have been in the office for a couple days now this week. What has what has came across your guys' desk? Anything cool? Yeah, we have a cool one. So Nick Merch just got a deal with uh, Calvin Klein underwear. He's gonna be their next model. Oh, for real? Yeah. Calvin Klein. Wow. So um, I need you to restructure that whole deal. Just delete Nick Merch from it. Phase adapt. Me phase adapt. Next Calvin Klein model. Okay. You do that for me. Got it. <laughs> All right. Cool. 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 Um, oh yeah. Anything else, Vera? Hit me. I mean, I don't know, Alex, um, I'm working on, I'm trying to work on a deal for Norden to, you know, MedMen wants him to be like their ambassador, like the face of MedMen, and um, it's like a year long deal and he's going to get Med free Men? products. You said, wait, wait, I was, I was going to really listen, I heard MedMen free products? Yeah. What? Products for like a year. Wait a second. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, a year. Wow. Really good for that. Nord, that would be great for Norton. I love yeah. Norton. It's my boy. But that's just. I'm. I need that deal. I need that deal. So just once again, just like the, the Spencer situation with Nick Merckx, restructure it all. Put it in my name. I'll give you. You have my address. Ship everything there. That's amazing. Perfect. Thanks, Alex. Yeah. Thanks. Chelsea? Hey, what's up? How's it going? Okay. I wanted to come meet with you in the PR office and see what we could do press pr press wise. Like, yeah. can I, what kind of articles can we put out there? I want to kind of be seen as like this business guy now. Like, I want I want some covers. I want articles. I want. We gotta get you like Forbes. We got. I mean, yeah. listen. The fact that you're uh, like a gamer becoming a CEO. Like, we gotta get that storyline out there. Yeah. I don't know. How do you feel about like a Forbes, a fast company? Would you ever do like a panel? How do you feel about speaking? What's the panels? Yeah. What do you mean about? Yeah, I mean, whatever, whatever, any about anything about all that, lock it in. Let's do it. What's what, your it's just gonna, right? What's your business strategy? That's what we've got to communicate, right? Yeah, like business strategy. Yeah, as a CEO, right? right. Elevate. Yeah. Elevate. Just kill it. Let's crush it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I feel like there could probably be some stories about like, are you like the youngest CEO? Of, you've got it. Like right? I was. I just turned 21 three years ago. That's so that's so young for a CEO. Yeah. I think press will really be interested in that. Like not necessarily. Like, I like think this. you should be on the cover of Fast Company. I mean, I know this is Serena Williams, but like you're up there now. Um, you know we're what in the saying? same. Like, we're in like the same conversation right now. Yeah, yeah. We gotta get you, and we gotta get you talking like a businessman, right? Mm -hmm. Like, not just an entertainer, but like a tried and true businessman with all this like. Yeah. Knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have. Plenty of that. Let's just start moving on that. Send out some emails. Talk to your people. If I need to do any panels or speaking, whatever it was, just hit me. Uh, yeah, I'll be back. Good All talk. right. Thanks. I think the next best thing for me to do is going to be to trim the fat off of you know this corporate beast that is Phase Clan. There's a lot of people I've seen in the office just kind of coasting around doing their thing. So we're gonna call. There's actually a, a staff meeting that Lee had mentioned. I'll probably just do it as the intro to this. But we're gonna have to make an example out of some people and let them know that I'm not playing when it comes to this uh, this business shit now. Like I'm really here to to get work done, to elevate the brand, so we're gonna have to let, let some people go, right? All right, listen, thank you everybody for coming down to the staff meeting. Um, I know you guys are probably aware by now for the, for the rest of the day to the day end, I'm working CEO and uh, one of the things that I thought would be good for FaZe, good for everybody in here, is if we, fire, if we got rid of at least one of you guys. Cause uh, yes, yeah. yeah. it's, no. it's downsizing. It it ups the budget. We could use more money into the Great production idea. side. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Listen, I know there's a lot of mixed opinions. Dude, there's a lot of mixed. But we're gonna do this the most fair way I know. All right, we're not gonna be looking at job reports, numbers, descriptions. I put everybody's name in a hat, all of you guys, and I'm gonna mix it up. And boom, one of you guys are gonna get lucky or un unlucky, actually. That's and how you start your first day, you fire somebody your first day. I mean, it's, so listen, wrong, it's man. downsizing. We have a lot of employees. I need to open up a little bit of a budget for this project I'm working on. Listen, here we go. Da 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 da. Who's it gonna be? Oh wow, that's Chelsea. No. <gasps> oh, oh, my Fired. I'm gonna, like, can I get your key card? Like who's gonna, who's gonna do all your press, man? You already like, sent the emails, it's in motion already. Listen. Listen. She's messed up. She's got a family, bro. Come on, man. Listen. I don't deserve this. Appreciate it, Chelsea. It's messed up, man. Listen, we'll work something out. Thank you, guys. I'm sorry, it was only one of y'all. 
All right, you guys can all get back to work. Now I got the budget. Thank you guys. Now that I made some business decisions, I feel like I need to take it back to my roots and sort out what's going on with our content because that's what our brand was built on pretty much us all making content and we kind of got to get the content strategy developed, figure out what direction we want to take it. And real, really, I'm kind of a visionary with this. You know, I've always kind of had a vision. We're going to do something big, something that we've never done before. I have an awesome idea. I'm going to get production together. We're going to sit down. And I'm going to tell them exactly what we need to do. You know how content has been working at FaZe Clan for a while now. We all put out our own content. We will come together on the main channel. We do stuff on different platforms and stuff, but I'm thinking, bigger i'm thinking we need to do something we've never done before no organization have ever done before we need to make a movie a full production full-blown movie we need a budget for a cast and crew food full days of production uh equipment everything on um, and you're probably like well like you know that's a that's a far-fetched idea i already have the script thought out i know exactly what we're gonna do and i'm telling you this movie is gonna be it's gonna win a damn grammy so this is the plot get this I, I'm gonna be the main character. I live with my aunt and my uncle. My parents are presumed dead. Uh, my uncle gets shot and killed in, in the streets, uh, leaving a gas station by someone wearing a mask. Next day, this is all like rough cuts, by the way, like just jumps, there's obviously more detail. Next day, I get bit by a spider. I get bit by a spider, I get heightened senses, I can start hearing things, like just being able to do things I couldn't do before. I'm super athletic now, um, I'm fit, I'm more confident. Um, and I have these webs that shoot out of my hands too. I could swing from buildings. I don't know what I'm gonna name it yet, but that's like just how the movie starts. And I start being able to have these crazy abilities and it goes into how I'm gonna use them. Like, cause with great power comes great responsibility at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So what do you think about that? <clears throat> I mean, look, man, it's interesting. It sounds a little familiar to me, but you know what? I mean, I think you're so passionate about it, and I love the vision, and I think you're onto something, man. I really like it. I think this could be a game changer, dude. Perfect. Okay, cool. So what would the next step be in doing this? Because I don't want to be one of those guys that just comes here and talks about ideas and like doesn't actually back it up or execute it. Where do we go from here since we already know what we're going to do? Well, I think the next thing we got to do is just really figure out some of the money, you know, figure Clear out the where budget. the money is. Yeah, let's let's get the budget locked and let's figure this fucking thing out. Okay, perfect. I actually, I'll say, I'll have, uh, I'll have Rana set something up with the finance department right now. And we'll get moving on. Let's go. Perfect. Buddy. Yes. That sounds good, man. Fuck yeah. No fucking way we're we doing that. I'll tell you this. I mean, for God's sakes, man, he told me to, the, the plot to Spider-Man and he wants to go and spend millions of dollars on that. I mean, I, I don't know, man. It's just, you know, it, it, I, I like Alex a lot, man. I mean, he and I are like, we're boys, but I mean, I think he's a little uh, left to center on this one, man. I, I don't know where, where he's coming from. That meeting went really well. Um, I'm really excited about this project, very passionate about it. There's just one thing we need to do. It's probably gonna be the hardest thing I've had to do, um, but I need to get a budget cleared for this movie. I need, uh, need to go meet with the head of the finance department. Um, this, is gonna, this is gonna run up pretty high. This is gonna be a pretty high, but like we're talking, you know, production, cast and crew, location, um, paying for co-stars, my own salary. Like, it's a movie, you know, it's huge, something we've never done before, I wanna do it, right? So we're gonna go meet with the finance department and uh, get this budget approved quickly before, uh, before Lee, Lee gets back or hears about this. CP, Henry, I appreciate you guys coming here to meet with me. Uh, so I know you guys are the ones I need to run everything by when it comes to big, uh, big purchases where the budget is getting dumped into something for the company financially. So I am working on this content piece. I have it completely broken down by how much money we're using, exactly what we're using it for, and in the end what it's towards, um, which I think will be huge for FaZe Clan. I think this could be our big break. And uh, could, yeah, could we just get the green light on this? That would be amazing. What do you guys think about this? Um, now I just got some questions about, about this right here. Like, yeah. All right, so where do I start? A million for the CGI, what's, what's the plan here? Oh, so there's gonna be a lot of scenes where I'm like swinging from building to building. I'm not actually gonna be able to do that. Right. And like shooting webs out of my hands. Right. I'm not actually gonna be able to do that, so we're gonna need to get computer generated images, CGI, and use that as a big part of the budget. It's, it's, it's expensive, but it's worth it. Okay, okay. Lambo, four hundred fifty thousand. Um, to rent a Lambo, it don't cost four hundred fifty thousand. Where'd you get this number from? So yeah, no, that's with insurance. 
So we're gonna get it, we're gonna rent it, and then we're gonna and then we're gonna insure it in case something happens to it. That insurance is gonna run high because it's production costs. All right, we can crunch those numbers, but the big question is definitely the salary right there. Yeah, we need to work. Where, do you where, get the where, salary? Do, where does the seven million come in at? See, this is gonna be my fee, um, for because it's gonna be like a thirty day production. I'm gonna be on set. Um, it was either gonna be that or I own uh, like about. 50% of the sales of the movie. I figured out that, but this movie, pri with where I'm thinking visionary wise, this shit gonna generate easy 50 mil, 100 mil. And if I took 50% of that, that's 25. I'm really doing everyone a favor by taking this. This is a cut. Seven mil to be on set every day, to act my heart off, to like do these scenes, do my own stunts. I'm not getting a stunt double. Okay. But look, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some math right quick. Like. Yeah, this is f***ed up. Yo, so look, man, I've been I've been working with this company for a few years now, you know what I'm saying? I I really don't be saying much. I don't, I keep my head down. I don't really care about a lot of shit, but this this shit right here is crazy. We can't let this shit go on. The man talking about 15, he needs 7 M's for himself. This man want 15 mil to make himself Spider-Man. They already did that shit. You can't do it again. So like I'm saying, it's, it's an easy about 17.5 mil, guys. We get this cleared, I promise you, this is going to knock down doors for Faceland. With no other Hey guys, doors. can I have the room, please? Can I, can, I, can I speak with that? Thank you. Hey, Thank God. <laughs> What's going on, Lee? $17 million for a movie? $17 million on a movie? It's a, it's a, like, it's a piece of content. It's a big piece of content. $17 million? Did you even hear the plot? You fired Chelsea? You yeah. fired Chelsea. We talked about no big moves. You fired Chelsea. Chelsea's one of the best employees we have. Yeah, but it was it was. I needed to open up a little bit of a budget. We were paying her a good amount okay. of money. What, what, what am I going to do with seventeen million dollar movie? Where are we putting this? This can potentially generate fifty to hundred million dollars. I did the projections. We talked about no big moves. Keep it, keep it to keep the train on the track. I got. What? I just got. I, I, I just saw something that I knew I had to capitalize on. Listen, I I I. I, I, I you're, pick, you're picking names out of a hat. You're firing people randomly. You talked about nothing permanent. You talk. We, Alec, listen. Uh, honestly, where, where's this? Give, give me this thing. I'm sorry. I, I, sorry. We can't do this. Sorry. That's it. You ripped it up. It's it. Listen. I love you. I love you. It's it. That's over. Experiment over. Thank you. I gotta clean up the mess. Thank you. Seven million dollars for a salary. Seven million dollars for a salary. Seven million dollars for a salary? I was gonna be on set every day for 30 Jesus days. Christ. Doing okay. my own stunts. Like web stunts. swinging and shit, Lee. Really you know how long it's gonna take me to clean up this mess now? You know how much extra work you gave me now? Thank you, I appreciate you, I love you. Goodbye and good luck. I'm sorry, Lee, listen. Maybe we'll revisit this another time, all right? I appreciate, I appreciate the opportunity. Yes. My man, love.